Hello everybody, a really, really warm welcome to this Facebook Live. So my name is Jana Sefanovska nightingale I'm the founder and director of Now Live Events and we've been putting on events in partnership with Psychologies Magazine for the last five years. It's been so great to meet so many of you at those events. We've met literally thousands of you at evening events and one day immersions, retreats, festivals, all sorts of places. So a really, really big thank you to all of you that have come. And I'm really excited to be able to speak to you in a slightly different way this evening on Facebook Live. So welcome to those of you that are joining. So I'd like to talk today about new beginnings. And there's three main reasons for that, really. One of them, of course, is the fact that the Psychologies magazine this month is all about new beginnings. So that's a pretty good reason. So as you can see from this lovely uh, cover just here, embrace your uh, your fresh start plan your fresh start and there's all kinds of tips in the magazine about how to um, have that fresh start for yourself so also in the month of september i always feel like it's all about fresh starts i don't know about you but for me the whole january new you new life it, it doesn't really feel like that's the time of year that i feel like I'm letting go of things and starting again. It's actually September is, is just this that back to school feeling in the air. So I don't know about you, but I definitely feel like this is the perfect month for making new starts, fresh beginnings. And in my own life, I've been having all kinds of changes happening. I'm about to move house, I'm changing jobs. So maybe you guys are also having different things that are happening to you at the moment. And maybe you're thinking about, well, how can I make a fresh start? Oh, it's lovely to see so many of you here. Hello, hello, Lamoria. Hello, Matt. Hello, Eleanor. Hello, Jules. Hi from Swansea. Great, <laughs> nice to have you here. So, um, in the events that we've done over the last few years, and in my, um, as well as running now events, I'm also a counselor and a coach and a speaker and a teacher. And I guess what I've, what I've noticed is that in all of the kind of self-development work that I've run and that I've seen people experiencing, it's all about new starts. It's all about change and, and, and fresh beginnings. And I think the most powerful thing about it all really is it's all about intention. So for me, it's like we make that choice. We say, actually, from now on, my life is going to be different. And According to Buddhism, which I have a real interest in and which I know many, you know, many people are interested in mindfulness nowadays and a lot of our events have been focused around that kind of um, mindful, fresh start focus. Buddhism really says that in essence, everything is about change, that even if we might think that um, things aren't changing, that the only thing that you can rely on in life is that change is the constant. But if there's one thing I know for sure, it's that change will always be happening. So, of course, change doesn't have to always be drastic. It doesn't have to be a new house or um, changing jobs. It could be a change in mindset. And today, I'm really going to focus on that kind of new beginning. So, what happens when we have a beginner's mind shift, when we decide to see everything as if for the first time? So, we're going to dive into that in a second, but for now, hello Pavan, hello Pavan from India, lovely to have you here. So we've got Swansea, we've got India, who else is going to come on the call? I can't wait to see, we're going to have all kinds of people here. It's really, really lovely to have you, thank you for watching. So to carry on, beginner's mind, well, it comes from the word Shoshen, which is a concept in, in Zen Buddhism. And this is really a key practice in mindful living. It's all about having an attitude which is about my, uh, mindfulness, openness, eagerness. It's a lack of preconceptions. It's basically you approaching life as if you are a learner. You are learning about life. And actually, the original concept of Shoshin was when studying a subject that even you, even if you were a, an advanced um, at advanced level in that subject, you would still approach it as if you were a beginner. So for me, there's, there's three main ways that I'd really like to explore that um, I think we can make use of beginner's mind in our own lives and that we can think about it and cultivate it in order to embrace fresh starts and new beginnings, even if it's just for the way that we approach our lives, the way that we look at the world. 
So the first one I want to look at is really, it's about focusing on the question, not the answer. So it's all about curiosity. It's about being open to the unknown and saying, actually, I'm going to empty my mind of what I think is going to happen here. So if I have a goal or I have an outcome in mind and I say, that's what I want to do, then rather than deciding before it happens how it's going to go, I'm actually going to be curious. I'm going to have a learning mindset. So it really allows you to look at something as an opportunity about not just deciding, okay, this is my expectation on how this will go. And so that means that's it. That's how it will be. So really, it's about enjoying the journey. It's saying, I'm going to allow myself to enjoy this process. And I think that can be life changing in itself. Just saying, do you know what? I'm just going to go along and see what happens on this path. And rather than doing it for a particular reason, maybe I'm just going to do it for the hell of it. I'm just going to focus on that question that I'm asking, whatever your question might be. So that's the first point. Second, I think a, a key point in beginner's mind is about celebrating making mistakes. It's about knowing that along this journey that we're going to take towards whatever it might be with your new beginning, you're going to fall down. You're going to fall down. You're going to make a mistake. But you know what? You're also going to get up again. And it's about celebrating those failures and also, of course, celebrating the successes, which are integral when you're on any journey, when you're going on any path. So a great, great example of this is my 11 month old son who is just learning to walk. And every single day I'm watching him absolutely embracing uh, this mindset of I'm going to fall down, but I'm going to get up again. So the number of times that he falls down and has this look on his face of complete shock, like, what? Who, who made that happen? And he cries and then he looks at me as if to say, oh my God, I'm never going to do that again. And I give him a cuddle and, you know, he, he kind of looks at me and I can see this look of determination in his eyes. And there he is again. He gets up and he just does it all over again. And I'm learning so much from him and wondering, so at what point in our lives do we maybe forget that that is something that's open to us, something that is open to anybody? Also, it makes me think, this, this whole thing about celebrating our mistakes, it makes me think of um, Michael Jordan. My, my brother is a huge, huge basketball fan. And so growing up, I heard so much about Michael Jordan. And I know that from my brother that he missed thousands and thousands of shots in his career. You know, he lost hundreds of games. And he's failed over and over again. But actually, he says, you know, I failed and that is why I succeed. So to me, that's an incredibly inspiring thing that we know, we expect that failure is going to happen and we embrace it. So those are the first two that I want to look at with beginner's mind. And the third one, which I think is ultimately the, the most important in a way and also kind of the crux is about presence. So it's about having this awareness that we're going to face life and experience life one moment at a time. And most of us, you know, we, we live on autopilot and that's, that's okay, that's how our minds are, that we um, are either thinking about something that's happened in the past, we are reflecting on uh, what might be happening in the future, thinking about things that might be coming up for us. And when we're in that place, we can miss so much because we're in that fog of, of all the things we need to do. So, when we come out of that and we say we're going to experience the moment fully, we're going to take it one moment at a time, this attitude of beginner's mind really helps us to take that all in, to take in everything that's happening in our lives. And of course, it means that ordinary things, they, they begin to shine. We, we come into this space where the present moment is abundant. The present moment is full of opportunity. It's full of beauty. It's full of this kind of magic and mystery that maybe we miss when we are ticking things off our to-do list. And on that note, I'd really like to read a quote to you, which I find very inspiring, and it's all about abundance and presence. And for me, this really hits home this whole area around beginner's mind and around new beginnings. But before I do that, I just want to say hello, Shaban, hello, Din, I hope that's how you say your name. Oh, Shaban's from Libya. Welcome, Libya. Wow, we've got Tunisia, Cardiff, excellent. Vietnam is here. 
Um, fantastic. We've got um, Libby, Suzanne. Again, Pavan is speaking about the Buddha. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you, everybody. Really lovely to see you all here. So to come back to this quote. So this quote is by somebody called Jeff Foster. Check him out. He's a really wonderful speaker, and I really love what he says. And just bear with me here. I'm not going to say too much. I'm going to let the quote speak for itself. But it's about, it's really about this space, as I say, of abundance and new beginnings. So. Abundance is not the money you have in your bank account, the trophies on your shelf, the letters after your name, the list of goals reached, and the number of people you know, your perfect body, your adoring fans. It's your connection to each breath, how sensitive you are to every flicker of sensation and emotion in your body. It's the delight with which you savor every unique moment, the joy with which you greet each new day. It's knowing yourself as presence the power that creates and moves worlds. It's your open heart, how deeply moved you are by love every day, your willingness to embrace, to hold what needs to be held. It's the freshness of each morning, unencumbered by memory or false hope. It's that feeling of the afternoon breeze on your cheeks, the sun warming your face, meeting others in the field of honesty and vulnerability, connecting beyond the story and sharing what's alive. It's your rootedness in the present moment, knowing that you're always home, no matter what happens, no matter what's gained or what is lost. It's touching life at the point of creation, never looking back, feeling the belly rise and fall and thanking each breath. It's falling to your knees in awe, laughing at the stories they tell, sinking more deeply into rest. It's simplicity, it's kindness, it's you before every sunrise, fresh, open, ready, and awake. So I know that's a slightly longer quote than maybe you were expecting, but I, I wanted to read it in its fullness because I, I really love what he's saying there. And to me, this beginner's mind concept really comes into this space where the present is just full of so much that we can enjoy and embrace. So moving on to the end here of what I'm going to be talking about, I just want to put on your radar that we're going to be leading a one day immersion with Susie Walker, the editor in chief of Psychologies magazine. And we're going to be doing that on the 30th of September. It's a Sunday and it will be at 42 acres in Shoreditch, which is an absolutely wonderful venue. If you've not checked it out, I really say to you, check out what they do. It's absolutely wonderful. So we're going to be looking at, of course, fresh starts, beginner's mind. We're going to be thinking about heart led vision, how to let go of unwanted baggage, creating a map of where to, to go from here to where you want to be, and really how to keep going when the going gets tough. Because as we all know, sometimes we can start things and get over that beginner's hump, and then it feels like challenges and things can throw us off. So we're gonna be looking at, so what do we do when that happens, and kind of preempting some of that. And the day will include writing, it will include small group work, simple meditation exercises, and other creative activities. So if you want to check out more, it's um, on www.nowliveevents.org forward slash immersions, and you'll see all of the information there. And I hope that even, of course, if you can't join us, if you are in these wonderful places all over the world, that you, you've got something useful from today that even if you can't come and see us, that today's um, focus on beginner's mind might have given you some ideas. And I wanna kind of end there by saying that um, it would be really great to create a little call to action around trying beginner's mind for yourself. So today, this evening, maybe see if you can meet someone as if for the first time. I once tried this experiment with my parents, which was kind of hilarious. I said, okay, I'm gonna meet them as if I've never met them before. And you know, it was completely revolutionary. I was like, oh, who are these human beings? I'm gonna to get to know them and see who they are. And it completely changed the dynamic and the energy of our interaction. So whether it's meeting someone as if for the first time or allowing yourself to make a mistake maybe, allowing yourself to you know, try something new and if you fall down, you fall down and that's okay. Or perhaps you want to focus on the question rather than the answer and just see where something takes you. You know, maybe this weekend you want to just say, actually, I want to do this for the hell of it and just see, see what happens. So to finish, I want to um, just let you know that Psychology's Life Leap Club 
is an online coaching club and there are videos like this like what I've just done here where all the subscribers are able to be supported and inspired by top coaches, experts and psychologists and that's really there to help you create the life that you want. So to find out more do sign up to Psychologies and the newsletter is at psychologies.co.uk. So I just want to also ask before I finish if anyone has any questions. We don't have loads of time but I could definitely take a question. If there's anybody that's interested, hello to these other people that have come, to Salma, to Alina. Hello, 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 everybody, hello. Um, ah, so Pavan says, when I want to feel fresh and moving forward, then I think about my role model struggle. I make spirit. I love that. So I think, I think, I believe what you're saying there, Pavan, is that when you have moments of challenge and obstacles that you focus on, role models or people that you admire or, or that you find inspiring who have done things and got, got through them that maybe that kind of pushes you through. I think that's such a fantastic suggestion and definitely it's a wonderful model to um, read, you know, the autobiographies of people that you find inspiring and people that have done things that maybe are in the vein that you want to because it can show you a kind of framework, almost a map for how you could also do that thing and, and how to keep going when the going gets tough. Oh, we've, we've also got a lovely comment from Pavan there. Your topic is so good, really useful for global. I imagine that means for either for lots of different things or for people around the world. Either way, thank you, Pavan. I appreciate that very much. And hello also to Heba from Egypt. Wow, what a wonderful international crowd we've got this evening. So I'm going to wrap up there. Thank you so much to those of you that have come to join me. It's been a really lovely experience and I hope that I'll be able to speak to you again at some point soon. Um, so just a reminder, my name is Jana Stefanowska Nightingale and I want to just end by saying, uh, you know, give this all a go. Have a little experiment, become a life explorer. Go out and, and try something new and have a go at Beginner's Mind this weekend and just see what happens. Enjoy everybody. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Bye.